Do you want to make metal like a doomsday preacher? Do you want to write dark songs about everything being awful with cool pagan imagery? Are you a Black Sabbath tribute band in denial? Then zoom in this room with a face full of gloom cause we're preaching the word of Doom Metal is like that old man in your basement who's slowly decomposing and accidentally made a Saint Vitus song. It's essentially good old proto-heavy metal still stuck in the 70s, where mainstream heavy metal would evolve to focus more on speed, aggression and evil lyrics. Doom Metal would instead keep it drowsy, relaxed and full of dread. Kinda like a slow talking doomsday prophet saying we're all going to die. The genre focuses more on riffs with low on guitars and simple drum grooves so you can vibe while the world is ending around you. The lyrics and imagery are focused on, well, doom stuff, but next to all the satanic chic is more focused on religion and witchcraft imagery. Well howdy neighbor, do you have a moment to talk about our lord and savior Satan? Satan, Satan, Satan! I think we got him. Yeah, so do I. It all started back in the olden times when Satan decided to do a little trolling, which would inspire the band Black Sabbath to make their first single Black Sabbath from the album Black Sabbath with Tommy Iommi, Geezer Weezer, Billy Willy and Aussie Posse. The song's use of long power chords, tritone and a foreboding atmosphere made it the earliest form of proto doom metal. It's also interesting, and kinda ironic, that heavy metal would evolve to have a focus on speed and aggression, while it began as a genre with a complete lack of speed and anger issues. The doom part in doom metal came from the band Cattle Mass from their album Epicus Doomicus Biggest Dickest Looking Sus, who made songs with gloomy and foreboding lyrics about spooky shits and Swedish meatballs. It could also be that the doom in doom metal is an anagram for... <laughs> for mood, which is what everyone said when they heard the Shana for the first time. It could also be the past tense of moo, which means that doom metal sounds like a depressed cow? Notable early bands include Cattle Mass, who made an album with doom in the name, Pentagram, who made music, Saint Vitus, whose favorite color is pink, and which fighter general who exists. <laughs> These guys are like the OG doom metal band. No, not you, OG. Get out of here. And every other band gets called a cattle mass ripoff. Then Ghost happened, and every doom metal band gets called a ghost ripoff. The Circle of Blame! Throughout the years, the genre has continued to evolve with bands like Electric Wizard, My Dying Bride, and Cathedral, expanding on the sound and fusing with other genres to create baby genres. But just like actual babies, they all came out screaming for attention on metal forums. Like Stoner Metal, which fuses doom metal with psychedelic rock, acid rock, and weed jokes. <coughs> Sludge Metal, which mixes doom with hardcore punk. Funeral Doom Metal, where they play in slow tempos below 80, with one band going as slow as 33 beats per minute. And if that isn't slow enough, there's Drone Metal, which is even slower by letting a single core play as long as 30 minutes, making it one of the few genres where you miss absolutely nothing when you show up late to the concert. And the name also sounds like the genre too. Then there's the CEO micro genres like Death Doom, Progressive Doom, Epic Doom, Black Doom, Scooby Doom, Didri Doom, Psychedelic Doom, Doom the Doomio Games, Doom the Gente Doom, and Traditional Doom Metal. For those Doomer Boomers who prefer everything to be simplistic and not diluted into countless micro genres. <laughs> Now most of you are probably asking, are you going to make all the subgenres in the microgenre of doom metal? And the answer is of course, it's the only way to make you shut the fuck up. I'll keep making those videos as long as there's music to explore and microgenres to make fun of, and I'll do that until the planet explodes or I run out, which, whichever comes first. By that time there'll be like a bajillion new microgenres out, like untraditionally deathly progressive sludgy doom metalist droney doomy doomcore- OH FUCK I'VE DOOMED US ALL! So, do you like dogs? Great! Because your hair needs to look like an unwashed poodle. Like all the bands in the 70s, your hair needs to cover your face so you can't see the fans that didn't show up on time. 
As long as your clothes have that default metalhead look, full on church choir member, or like you're attending a funeral of a dead horse, all while staring blankly into the void during a photo shoot. Don't forget to pose like one of those creepy cult folks you see in documentaries and horror films. Make sure it's in a graveyard without permission or in a forest filled with trees. Bitches love trees. Oh great man in the bog, what is your wisdom? Drink my mud water. Don't mind if I do. Blur. Oh. And now that you've found an abandoned cabin in the woods that looks like a cozy recording studio, it's time to take those hauntings as an inspiration for your riffs. Set your BPM to a nice, gentle pace. You want to be slow and groovy, but not too slow or too disco. So anywhere between 90 and 130 works swell. For the drums, you could go one way or another, depending on whether you're feeling funky or frequently funerals. You could play so slow that you could take a power nap between bars or jam out to the devil himself. Kinda like a jazz band from the Satanic Temple. Way to put the fun in funeral. One easy way is to put the snare on the third beat instead of two and four. Then you get that slow vibe even on high tempos. Save the beat two and four when you want to add some intensity. For the guitar, just like the great drug fueled band from the late 60s, like the Hoomster, the Beatles, the Kings, the Jimi Hendrix, the Experience, turn the guitar to 11 and beyond. And then occasionally add a shit ton of effects. I love becoming deaf. Some bands use a fuzz pedal to make it sound noisier, loudier, and fuzzy wuzzier. Other two metal bands lean towards overdrive and distortion as well. Some even make a blend between fuzz and distortion, like putting scrap metal and a toy hamster in a blender. Now for music, the theory, the, the pentatonic scale, just do the pentatonic scale, no one gives a shit. Make it spooky if I the tritone in there like... Blend. is either clean or basically rips off the idea from the guitarist. Making you the sticky glue between the melodic and percussive instrument. Make sure your vocalist sounds like Ozzy Osbourne on Sleeping Pills. Alternatively, you can scream high like Messiah Marklin from Candlemas, imitating a TV preacher rambling about the end times. Optionally, you can add some strings or organs to make it more spooky. For the reverb, there's only one option. CHURCH REVERB! Hey -oh. nah. Speaking of apocalypse, when writing lyrics, you need to have at least one song with doom in it somewhere. It's a tradition at this point. Tonight at 11. For the album cover, I hope you like skulls! Blazy Bones. Hello, I'm Mr. Dungeon. Welcome to my dungeon. I'm gonna take this off so I can see the album covers worse. As is typical in fucking doom metal album covers, we have a skull, of course. This one looks like it's having a good time. This one's having, ooh, a bad time. This one has all the pretty colors. This one has my favorite color, None. This one has a dog. Everyone likes dogs. Dogs are pretty doom. This one has some lovely ladies. As you can see, they're having a good time, unlike me, who's Mr. Dungeon. This is a house that I used to live in. This one, definitely a drug dealer lives there, and his name is Jesse. This one has the good shit. These guys are training to become Jedis, as usual. This, this is clearly... It exists. Thank you for joining Elm Cars with Mr. Dungeon. I'm not Mr. Dungeon, cause I'm done with this gin. For the music video, bring your friends to the forest and have some bitchin' barbecue while filming. Plus, it's free smoke effect for the visuals. Alternatively, film in a church, in front of a green screen, or in your mom's basement on Sundays. So buckle up, fellow Satanists, cause we're going to the beach to sacrifice a virgin or 50 in the name of Dandam on the Nunda for some wicked music video shots. Um, no, we can't do that. Murder's still illegal. Dang it. Don't you worry, guys. We got some meat for the barbecue. Eh, good enough. Let's go! Woo! Ah.
Congratulations! Your band has started a satanic panic that's sweeping across the nation. And now you have unleashed the wrath of Bible Thumpers once again and have to deal with angry protesters outside your door. We do! The end. Stuck on the page fire channel. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hi. Ah!